Hey guys, today we're looking at goalkeeping positioning uh, with a really cool exercise that's going to help you visualize the shot path and help you see how uh, simple and effective good positioning can be. So for this drill, you're really only going to need the goalpost and some rope. Uh, the rope you'll see is used to actually map out the flight path or the farthest flight path of the shot. Let's take a look at it first on the computer and then I'll show you it on the field. It's really easy to position yourself when you see the boundaries. Right here I put myself in the middle where I can reach both lines. With the help of some rope we're able to see the potential area that the ball will pass through. Everything inside of the cone is pretty much danger area. So when you're setting yourself up inside the cone you want to set yourself up in the middle but able to touch both lines. Uh, the left line and the right line. You want to be able to get them with a simple dive. Uh, if you're able to reach both lines then you have all of your angles covered. Excluding, of course, a good chip. This is what a charging striker is going to see. Me in front of the goal covering all of the angles. And when I dive, I have my bottom 90 covered on both sides, right and left. Let's try it out from a different angle. I moved it a little bit off to the left so we can see a completely different angle and how to set up for it. Let's pretend that the ball that was about to be shot in the middle was passed down the right side. Uh, now the striker has a free shot on you and it is just you and the striker. You are to run off your line and find the best spot to cover your angles and set up in your keeper ready position. Now here I am in my keeper ready position. I've got both of my angles covered. The striker has nowhere to go but a far upper 90 hard shot on the far post. With good positioning comes great advantages. Uh, one is not having to dive that much. Because of uh, good positioning, the balls are going to come mostly right at you. Unless you got a very good forward that really knows how to curl those balls, uh, you're going to have a great game. Here's another angle, and I use the same idea. I find myself looking at the post, looking at my lines, and checking if I can go over in both uh, sides, left and right. Once I see that, I know that I'm in my good position and I know that I'm taking up all my angles. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Alberto. Hope this helped you out, and I'll see you guys again next week.